Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over dilations by looking at scale factor problems. First we're going to look at how dilations affect a point or a shape. Then we're going to look at an example about how to find the scale factor of the dilation. Another example on how to dilate about a point other than the origin. Then finally you can try the practice questions on your own at the end of this video. So first let's just go over what dilations are. Dilations are a type of transformation in geometry where we take a point, line, or shape and make it bigger or smaller depending on the scale factor. So when we're given a scale factor, we then multiply it times the length or a coordinate point and it, the shape will either get bigger or smaller. So you could see here we have this example where the scale factor is 2 and we have, we go from this small triangle and we get this bigger triangle. And you could see that we multiplied each length times 2, the scale factor. So 4 times 2 is 8, so now its new corresponding length is 8. 5 times 2 is 10, and then 3 times 2, the scale factor is 6. So that's how we go. We dilate something, we make it bigger or smaller. So in this example, we went from a small triangle to a bigger triangle, but we can also do the opposite. We can go from a bigger triangle to a smaller triangle. So in this example, we could see that the scale factor is a fraction, it's one half. So when the scale factor is less than one, that means we're going to be making the shape smaller. So in this triangle, you see the same thing. We're just multiplying times the scale factor each uh, side length. So four times one half, we get two. 2 times 1 half, we get 1, and then 5 times 1 half, we get 2.5. So that's all dilations are, making shapes bigger or smaller, and using the scale factor to carry that out. So we always multiply the scale factor times the length and times a coordinate point. So before we look at an example, um, there's some properties of dilations you're going to want to know about. They're a type of transformation that's kind of the black sheep of the transformation family in geometry because things are not always the same after you dilate something. So the angle values remain the same. The parallel and perpendicular lines remain the same after a shape is dilated. But the length, area, and perimeter do not remain the same. So that means when we, we have a shape and then we dilate it, we're making it bigger or smaller, and that length, area, and perimeter are not going to be the same. So that's all we're saying here. And these are things just to keep in mind when we look at our examples. So here we have example number one. Triangle B is the dilated image of triangle A about the origin. What is the scale factor of the dilation? So here we have triangle A, and we're saying that it was dilated to become triangle B. So we went from A to B. So we know that this is the original, so let's, original triangle, and then this is after dilation. And we want to know, they're asking what the scale factor is. So basically, what value did we multiply times each length or each coordinate point to get our smaller little triangle here after the dilation, triangle B? So, so one really quick and easy way to do that is to just measure the lengths and see what the difference is. So here we have, for triangle A, you see that the length is three units long. And then for triangle B, you see that this is only this corresponding length is only one unit long. So make sure to measure the corresponding lengths too. So we see that this is clearly the corresponding length. We went from three to one. So we need to ask ourselves, three times what gave us one? So no, and this what here is the scale factor. So looking at it this way, this is super easy to solve. We're just going to divide three on both sides and we know that the scale factor was one-third. And that's our answer. So super easy, just asking yourself these questions. What, what did I multiply times the original length to get the new length? Yeah, okay, just to spell out what each of these stand for. So this is the old length, this is the scale factor that we didn't know, but we know it now, and then this is our new length. On to example number two. Plot the image of point K under a dilation about point M by a scale factor of two. So, so what's different about this kind of question is that we are not dilating uh, about the origin, right? We are dilating about point M. So instead of just looking at point K and multiplying each coordinate point times two, we're gonna have to do some, an extra step here. 
So we want to know, we basically need to think about this as how far is k in relation to m? So to do that, I'm just going to draw um, an xy axis stemming from point m. So m is going to be like our new origin. So now we can find the value of point k in relation to this new coordinate point, in relation to this new coordinate plane here that we just drew. So you can see that the new k has this value of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So k is equal to 3, 2 in, when it's in relation to this blue line. So now if it's going under the scale factor of 2, the dilation of a scale factor of 2, what we do is we multiply each coordinate point by the scale factor, by 2. So when we do that, we get 3 times 2 is 6, and then 2 times 2 is 4. So to draw our newly dilated point, we're going to go back to our blue axis that starts at M, and just go to 6, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then just label our new point, K prime. So, so that's our answer. So it just asks to plot that image. That's our answer. But, um, but if you have a question on your homework or a test and it asks you for the coordinate point um, of, the newly, of the new image, just be careful to use this original xy axis. So even though we get 6, 4 based on the blue axis, remember that the final answer would really be to go back to this regular xy axis that we have in black and look for that coordinate point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three. So the, the real, real answer is five comma three. So if you're looking for more, check out the practice questions right here. The link is in the description below. And if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.